Welcome back guys, this is Magic Dad, and I am here with something completely new and different for the channel. I'm a pro wrestling fan, and proud to admit it, and I've been a fan for many years. This last Sunday, I saw what I consider to be one of the best Royal Rumbles, and was thinking to myself, this is going to be awesome, a great lead up to uh, Wrestlemania. Then Monday night happened, and made me think of what could have been. And after discussing it with another friend of mine who's a pro wrestling fan, Beto, from Beto Plays, I was encouraged to do this fantasy booking. So, special shout out to Beto for helping me flesh out some of these ideas. So, we are going to start the night after the Royal Rumble. Basically, it's just going to set the initial four weeks leading up to Fastlane. So, the first angle will be Triple H comes out, yay, I'm the champ, I'm the champ, yay! Love me, bow down to me, I am the greatest! And, well, first off, Roman Reigns comes out and starts demanding a title rematch and Triple H is like, no, get away. The, uh, and then the Wyatts come out and Bray Wyatt is like, you cost me. I want that title. And Triple H is like, get out of here, you freak. I don't want anything to do with you. And, well, we have some more matches throughout the night. Have AJ make his uh, uh, Raw debut. And that was pretty much it. But we don't have anything set for Fastlane as of yet. The second week, the authority coming out, Steph and Triple H. And all of a sudden, lights go off. Whack! And then Triple H is left there standing alone in the ring. And on the Titantron, you see Bray Wyatt up there with Steph uh, being a, a captive. Sort of like the Undertaker in the 90s. And he goes on and basically starts making demands of the title and goes, You, you do not understand the perpetual sorrow I will bring upon you and all you hold dear. There will be recompense for your sins, Paul. And yes, he calls him Paul instead of Hunter or Triple H. And you will follow the buzzards with a laugh, with his maniacal laugh. Triple H is completely living. It's like, why? You want a shot at this title? Fine. You got it. Fast lane. Now bring, give me Steph. He just starts laughing. It's like, it's not, uh, and basically not that easy. The Wyatts want to rule. Give us new a new day. And Triple H is like, fine. The Wyatts versus New Day at Fastlane. Six-man tag match for the titles. Bray laughs again and the screen cuts off. And Triple H is left in the ring just demanding uh, Steph back. And there's no response. And we cut the commercial. So we come back on. Matches are happening. Triple H is like, you know what? He uh, runs into Roman Reigns in the back. It's like, Reigns, I'm booking you in the main event against Wyatt. You take him down, and I'll, cons I'll put you in the number one contender match. But uh, Triple H is still looking all over for him, for Steph. And during the show, he finds uh, Luke Harper laid out, unconscious. He later finds Eric Rowan completely laid out unconscious so the main event happens and it's Bray Wyatt against Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt has Strowman with him and the match is going back and forth and all of a sudden Brock Lesnar's music hits he comes barreling out completely destroying Strowman and destroys both Reigns and Wyatt and Paul Heyman comes out and says Hunter, we found Steph for you. And well, my client, Brock Lesnar, has some unfinished business with the Wyatts. And he, want, he wants a match with Wyatt. Triple H is like, we will think about it and we will let you know next week. The following week comes and Triple H comes out. Well, Lesnar... You're going to get one of the Wyatts at Fastlane. 
you'll get Braun Strowman. I have a personal vendetta that I need to deal with with Bray himself. There are now changes to Fastlane. The tag title match is going to be three on two. The New Day versus Harper and Rowan. At which point Reigns comes out it's like, okay, what's going on about me? It's like, and he just, Hunter looks, you didn't get the job done. But you know what? We're going to be nice to you. You're going to get a, a you're going to be put in a num- number one contender spot. But you have to survive a gauntlet match. And you'll find out your opponents later. So during the, that night, he also announces, and tonight, you and your buddy Ambrose are going to take on the New Day. Three on two. So the cameras catch them, or catch Triple H backstage. And he's talking with Owens, and Owens is like, I'm going to get what I want, I'm in. And they shake on it. So later in the, in the evening, Triple H is seen talking with Del Rio, and Del Rio's like, that's not, I, I have... And Triple H is like, listen, you do this, you'll be guaranteed one way or another to be at WrestleMania. Nobody else has that guarantee. And uh, Del Rio's like, I like that. I'm in. During the uh, main event, Ambrose and uh, Reigns are doing pretty good against the New Day. At which point, all of a sudden, Kevin Owens come and the, and the League of Nations come out and attack Reigns and Ambrose and leave them laying in the ring and standing over them. As Triple H comes out, it's like, boys, I've got some news for you. We're going to have Ambrose and Owens for the Intercontinental Championship at Fastlane in a no DQ match. And Roman Reigns... You get to deal with the League of Nations in your gauntlet match. And if any one of them beats you, the one that beats you goes on to WrestleMania for the num- to take me on. That, uh, that's how Raw ends that night. The next week, we set up m- more or less the rest of the card. So, uh, Ric Flair goes to Triple H and it's like, Hey, Charlotte doesn't need some time, or needs a night off. She's... Uh, She's a great champion, and Triple H like, yeah, she's a great kid, and it's like, well, how about we give her the night off? And it's like, okay, fine. Oh, uh, well, we got a uh, problem with Sasha Banks trying to get involved with her, and how about we we give her, uh, put her in a number one contender match? It's like, fine, I know just how to do it, and he announces Banks versus Paige versus Natalia, triple threat number one contendership match for the Divas Championship for WrestleMania. And since uh, Albert Del Rio is already busy uh, that night, I'm giving Stardust the shot at Kalisto. And I also have AJ Styles booked against Neville in basically what's going to be easily the match of the night. I have also put Sami Zayn on the pre-show against Adam Rose just to have Sami Zayn out there and in a match that will make him look strong. So the Fastlane card that we have looks like this. Reigns in a gauntlet match against the League of Nations for number one contender. Harper vs. Eric Rowan for the tag titles. Lesnar vs. Strowman. Owens vs. Ambrose, IC title, no DQ. Triple H and Bray Wyatt for the championship. And then the undercard is Kalisto and Stardust, Neville and Styles, Banks, Natalia, and Paige. We have uh, the pre-show is Zayn vs. Rose. Most of these matches are not going to make, mean much. So, S- Sami Zayn goes over Rose to make him look strong. AJ Styles goes over Neville in a match of the night. But we also, for the opening match, we have Kalisto in an excellent match against Stardust winning. So, after these matches, there's a backstage interview with Reigns where Lana comes up and gets in his face. And they basically exchange words. And Reign gets jumped by the league. And when he gets jumped, he's ta- uh, uh, pushed into Lana. She goes down with an injury. But the referees are there and gets everything broken up. But Rusev is mad. So, in the other matches, we get Sasha winning the triple threat going on to WrestleMania. New Day 
with their shenanigans win over the Wyatts. And then we have the gauntlet match. It starts off with Roman Reigns versus King Barrett, Wade Barrett, Bad News Barrett, whatever you want to call him. Barrett goes down relatively quick because right now he's still dealing with an injury. We just needed him in here to give him an extra opponent. When he turns his uh, attention on Albert Del Rio coming out, he gets hit by a bull hammer. At which point Del Rio takes advantage of it, roughs him up, weakens him down, hits him with the arm bar, ringer arm bar, uh, doubles or the stomp to the chin from the tree of woe, just gives him a good going over. Reigns ends up co coming out of uh, nowhere with a Superman punch, nails him, one, two, three. Before he even gets a chance to uh, take a breath, Rusev is out there and he is beside himself. Putting rain, beating on reins, putting them through tables. Uh, the referees are like warning them, admonishing them. Stop, stop. You're going to get yourself disqualified. Stop. And he's just not listening to it. Taking the stairs, ramming them into him. Eventually he gets disqualified. But reins is now in bad shape. So out comes Seamus. And he is, just, he knows he's got this wrapped up. He's confident. He comes out and starts giving him a a real go over and roughing him up and he's just laughing and hits him with uh, white noise hits him with a brogue kick he even goes for the cover one two pulls his head up he's like I'm not done yet hits him with another brogue kick and he's like he goes to cover him and all of a sudden if you smell what the rock is cooking and out comes The Rock. Crowd, uh, nobody expected it. Roof blown off the place. And Seamus is like, what? And The, uh, the Rock is out there getting into Seamus' face, uh, at which point Seamus, completely uh, distracted, turns around, spear out of nowhere. One, two, three. Reigns is on to a WrestleMania main event. Seamus completely beside himself. In the Intercontinental Championship match, it's a back and forth, grueling match, both guys beating the hell out of each other. Ambrose has the upper hand, is about to go uh, for dirty deeds. Out of the crowd comes Chris Jericho who hits the code breaker on Ambrose. Owens takes advantage of it. One, two, three. New IC Championship. And the fans are just booing Jericho like crazy, and he's just got the his cocky look on like only he can do as a heel. After that, we have Brock Lesnar against Strowman. Lesnar just... It's the first time Strowman's made to look weak, and, well, it's Lesnar, so... That's done, and said and done, it's it's now a moot point. Lesnar wins. No, no question. So, now we have the world title match. Wyatt comes out with the entire Wyatt family, except for Strowman, who he got basically eaten by Lesnar, more or less. And then Triple H comes down, stares him down, and rushes the ring. It's a brutal match that, uh, in this back and forth. And, well, the Wyatt family does get involved and helps Wyatt get the advantage. And Triple H is set up for a Sister Abigail when Brock Lesnar's music hits and he kind of hits the ring, taking out Bray Wyatt and causing a disqualification. And during the altercation, Triple H gets out of there, but uh, Strowman makes his way down now, and it's Lesnar against all four Wyatts, and they jump Brock, and they beat him down. And Bray Wyatt hits Sister Abigail on Brock again, and then stands over Lesnar laughing as the show goes off the air. And that's how I would book from Royal Rumble to WrestleMania for Angles. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked what I did, give me a thumbs up. I will be back with another episode which will cover the countdown to WrestleMania. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have yourselves a wonderful evening.